look at this mansion. This mansion is worth like $150 million and it's nestled in Beverly Hills, California. It is the home of Tony and Jean Pritzker. Okay, who the heck are the Pritzkers? The Pritzker family is the family behind Hyatt Hotels, one of the largest hotel chains in the world. Tony Pritzker is the son of the hotel founder and he is a billionaire. Tony married Jean, who is um, basically this philanthropist. Jean Pritzker were married for more than 30 years before they had uh, started this very bitter divorce battle in 2022, which is kind of sad, to be honest. Um, and uh, as it turns out that during their divorce, Tony and Jean started fighting over the all of the assets that they'd um, gained during their lifetime. And here's the crazy part. They did have a prenup. And in the personal finance world, um, most personal finance experts like myself would recommend that a prenup is a smart way of going into a relationship because it gives the couple more control over and it also starts a great conversation over how you want to handle money and in in tony's case in particular with him having a lot of money from family this is a case where i think a prenup is very valid because you need to have it all laid out basically the whole issue with the pritzkers is that in their prenup Tony and Jean had the stipulation that any assets that they acquire during the marriage would be considered marital assets. What does that mean? It means that if in the case of divorce, such as what they're going through, those assets would be divided. So rightfully so, Jean was under the impression the entire time that the homes that they acquired during the time of their marriage, 30 years, which is a long time, would be part of the divorce. So. Look, I don't, I don't blame Jean at all. She basically married for and enjoyed. I don't blame the fact that Jean married and enjoyed the billionaire wives lifestyle. Lots of lavish and opulent uh, types of deals. We're talking $7 million of jewelry. The couple owned at least 13 cars, $3.8 million of fine art and wine. They had homes in Phuket, Thailand, Topanga near Malibu, a home in Los Cabos. And this massive mansion that we're talking about, the one in Beverly Hills, has a staff, like just a mere staff alone to manage the house of 25 people. Y'all, it only takes like half of one person to manage this house that I'm renting. So I just cannot even imagine 25 people. She herself had a pretty decent career in investment banking. Investment banking is no joke. It is a career where you have to be very well educated, well versed in finance, and you could be potentially making seven figures yourself. But Jean decided to become a stay at home wife, philanthropist, focus on raising her and Tony's children, and also focus on their philanthropic um, ventures because her husband's the billionaire. And the house that they built in Beverly Hills in particular was meant to really focus on raising funds. And it has apparently a 40 car garage and many Hollywood um, celebrities have stayed and partied at this house over the, the period of their marriage. Sad. Here's the sad part about the whole divorce proceedings is that Jean was led to believe that all of these properties that she and her husband had bought over the period of their marriage would be part of what's considered marital assets. Unfortunately, she was informed by lawyers during divorce proceedings that she actually had no right to stay in the house, that everything in this Beverly Hills home, including practically all the forks and knives that were in it, was purchased through a series of LLCs and trust entities controlled by either Tony, her ex-husband, or the Pritzker family trust in general, and that because she was not set as the beneficiary of the web of trust that owns this home, she had no right to it, and it's not considered part of the marital assets, which is terrible because, to me, my interpretation of this whole situation than divorce battles in general which are always very acrimonious is that i think tony did it on purpose i think her husband did it on purpose to hide assets from her to take power away from her during and after the marriage and now it's up to the divorce lawyers to basically duke it out in court which is extremely unfortunate and 
while I think most of us don't have much to learn from billionaires because they just lead a life that's so much different from us, I do want to take a couple of pointers away from this article. One is still do your best to have your own legal representation before you decide to go into a marriage. Um, especially if there's going to be a prenuptial agreement, you definitely want to have your own legal representation to make sure that the terms are in your favor as well, because oftentimes the person who suggests the prenup writes the prenup to benefit them and not you. Second, even if you marry somebody who's a billionaire, it's not a given that your lifestyle is going to be lavish the entire time. I think it made sense that Jean assumed for a long time, maybe 30 years of marriage, that she could have this lifestyle. But sadly, as we can see, things can still change overnight. Nothing's guaranteed even for a billionaire's life. Then third, regardless of your level of education, regardless of how much money there is in the household, I think both spouses should always be aware of what's going on at the same time. Sadly, Jean just was not aware that Tony had been doing all of this and probably with malicious intent behind her back. And she's extremely educated. Like she was a former investment banker. This is something that she should have had the capability of looking into on her own. So it just shows that um, these, thing, these things can blindside even the most well-educated amongst us. So yeah, it's an interesting story. I figured uh, something um, interesting to share for my audience. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe to save my sense.